back to me as soon as possible. Okay, so for our simple icebreaker is going to be identifying a simple item called enough and two and I would like to take this chance to give a pan my remote control to take us through this icebreaker but before pan you start I'll explain something brief about enough and two now these are two simple english words or vocabularies that i used in most cases inter interchangeably they almost led to something the same but there is a slight difference that is if you want to say enough you use enough in a sentence that means you have what is sufficient for example, I can say, I have enough books. That means you have what is needed or what you want, the exact amount that you need. Then if you use the word two with double O, T double O, that means you have more than what you need. For example, I can say, this is too much. That means it is more than what I want. If I said this is just enough, that means it is the exact quantity that I need. So after knowing the difference between two and enough, I would request a pan to uh, unmute your microphone and you take us through this simple icebreaker before we start our lesson. Okay, pan, are you ready? Pan. Yeah. All right. So you click next and then you look at some of the questions. You just click on the correct answer. And that's one example. The question says it's dash called to take dogs for a walk. Do we say enough or two? You click on the right answer, pan. Okay, one more time. Click on the right answer. One more time, please. Go back. Okay, I'll take you there. Okay, you now go to ne click next. You can use the arrows on your computer, on the keyboard. All right, so click on the correct answer. No, it's enough. No, it's supposed to be too. Correct. It's too cold to go. It's too cold to take dogs for a walk. That means it's very, very cold. More than enough. More than uh, the usual coldness so too much too much more than what's needed in that sentence let's check next question it's dash hot to go running it's dash hot to go running it's hot to go running should we use Two or enough. You can help him, please. Other students, don't just keep quiet. You can tell him the answer and we solve this as fast as we can. Correct. Thank you so much. It's too hot to go out running. It means very, very hot. Next. It's not warm to take dogs for a walk. It's not warm to take dogs for a walk. What should we use? Correct. Thank you so much. It's not warm enough to take dogs for a walk. That's me. It's not very hot out. Okay. I'm that I'm young to drive Correct. a car. I'm too young. Thank you so much. Next. 
the garage is not big to keep so many things. Correct. Thank you. The garage is not big enough to keep too many things. Next question. I am not old to drive a car. Correct. Thank you. I'm not old enough to drive a car. Next question. Help. This puzzle is heavy. Correct. Thank you. Help. This puzzle is too heavy. Okay. This pond is too deep. Is not too deep to Correct. dive. Correct. Thank you. It's not too deep enough to dive from here. Thank you. These leaves are long for me. The sleeves are those long shirts. Correct. Thank you. The sleeves are too long for me. Oh, are we going back? Help. I'm not strong. Correct. Enough to leave the puzzle. Next question. We have got, I think, 21 vocabularies. Okay. This guitar is small for me. Correct. Thank you so much. This guitar is too small for me. The Go back, please. I don't go back again. I think you skipped two times. Oh, go back again. Oh, it's going, taking us to different other items. I'll, I'll help you. Okay, that's where we were. The cookies are high. Correct. Thank you. The cookies are too high. Thank you. Next. The music is loud here. Correct. Thank you. It's too loud. I don't have time to finish my exams. Correct. Thank you. I don't have enough time to do my exam. So not goes with enough. Take note. My mouth Correct. is big. Isn't it? My mouth is too big. Isn't it? Thank you. There is not ice cream for the children. Correct. There isn't enough ice cream for children. Thank you. I don't have money to buy this motorcycle. Correct. Thank you so much. I don't have enough money to buy this motorbike. He is not tall to reach the cookies. Not remember. Correct. Yes, he is not tall enough to reach the cookies. Okay, it's not quite here. It's not quiet here to sleep well. Ah. There is a baby crying. Not. Correct. Take Correct. Note of that. It's not quite quiet enough here to sleep. The baby is crying. Okay. This book is not interesting for him. Correct. This book is not interesting enough for him. Thank you. All right. That was our simple icebreaker. Thank you so much, Pan. You are very wonderful students. I really enjoy teaching you students. Everyone, every member of this class is very active. All right. So that was our commercial break. I see all the 19 members present now that means everybody is present i'm taking it like that and our next part is going to be our lesson this morning is going to be about the coronavirus this is something that started very easy simple thinking that it would not take this long when you first heard of COVID-19 in China in, 29, uh, in 2019, in that province called Wuhan, we thought it would not take this long. But it's every time, every now and then you hear that phase one is gone, phase two, phase three, it's coming to be a serious pandemic worldwide. So I thought of us pre preparing to discuss or prepare a simple power, PowerPoint about COVID-19 or coronavirus, and I want us to talk about it. So our lesson is going to be around the coronavirus. 
and I am going to call it what is happening in the world. I'll share my screen and I will this time I'll request Nam Nam Namun. 